war. War broke out somewhere. And there was war in heaven. Michael and his angel fought against the dragon. And the dragon fought and his angels and prevailed not. Neither was their place found any more in heaven. Neither was their place found any more in heaven. And the great dragon was cast, cast out. The old serpent called the devil and Satan which deceived the whole world. He was cast out on, into the earth and his angel were cast out with him. Praise Master Jesus. I stop there. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. But then we see what happened here. The angels of God and the angel and devil with his fallen angel fought against the Zeus in heaven. But glory be to God that Michael, who is the archangel of God, fought the devil and pulled him away out of heaven. This morning, the message you're going to be hearing is talking about fight also. There's something in your life. Something in our lives. Little or big that we must fight with. If you refuse to fight that thing, just as Satan and God cannot dwell in the same place, Satan has to leave heaven for God to stay. There's something in your life that must go for you to be able to leave. The thing is very small. Very, very small. And I call it the mother of other things. It's a sin, but it's, the, it's, small, it's a small sin. But it's the mother of most of other sins. And the only way you can get rid of it is to fight it out. Is to cast it out of your life. The Bible says that Satan and his agent, the dragon and his demons were cast out of heaven. So, the same thing I'm about to tell you now must be cast away. You don't just say go away. You will cast it away. Now, the topic says cast the envy spirit out now. Cast the envy spirit out now. That envy spirit, envy, is the mother to many other sins. And if you play with that spirit of envy in your life, it will generate to a bigger sin that will either destroy you or destroy people around you or destroy things that the Lord has put in your hands. So, the Lord said, I should tell you, I tell whoever that cares to listen, that spirit in you called the spirit of envy is the virus in it is more dangerous than HIV virus. The virus of envy is, is spread like cancer. And if you do nothing about it, it will do something about you. If you refuse to do something about that spirit called envy, that envy spirit that is living in you, that envy spirit will do something about you. The Bible told us in the book of Proverbs chapter 27 verse 4, Wrath is cruel, and anger is outrageous. But who is able to stand before envy? Who is able to stand before envy? Nobody can stand with somebody who is envy. And every man can be angry with you, but if you feel calm, if we angry with you, Envy about you, but you will feel calm. Nothing is happening. And envy man can kill. Envy will make you to destroy your own children. Envy does not know children. 
envy does not know husband. An envy husband will be envious of the wife. Can kill his wife, kill his wife. The Bible says both of them shall be one. And every spirit don't know one plus one is equal to one. So as, as long as there's nobody who can stay with an envy spirit, you better do something about it. You better do something about that envy spirit in you now. That even though you have millions, when somebody has one euro, you want to get that same one euro to your own. The Bible says, Satan was highly exalted in heaven. Satan was blessed with everything he needed. But upon all this, he had an envy spirit. He wants want to be like God. An envy man will want, always wants to be like somebody. Even an envy president wants to be like a slave. An envy he is never satisfied. And it will make you never to be satisfied of what you have. So as uh, this world is coming now, check yourself. Check yourself thoroughly to know if, please excuse me. Amen. Check yourself thoroughly to know if the spirit is not dwelling in you. Sometimes it may look like a gentle spirit. It may look like a very cool spirit. But it eats like cancer. The Bible told us in Proverbs 14 verse 30. Proverbs 14 30. A son heart is the life of the flesh. But envy is the rottenness of the bone. A sun heart is the life of the flesh. But envy will rot in you. Envy will destroy you. It destroys the, oh, destroy the body that carries it and destroys people around them. Do you have envy spirit in your life? It's not a thing. I just say envy go away. You must cast. It's a, it's a strong spirit. That can destroy you when you least expect it. Envy is a very dangerous virus. It kills both the patients and those around the patients. It's a sickness. It will kill you that have the sickness and it will use you to kill people around you. Envy does not have respect. Envy spirit is never satisfied. Of what he have. The Bible told us in Matthew chapter seven, chapter twenty-seven, from seventeen to eighteen, it was because of envy that the Jews, upon all everything that Christ did for them, they knew that this man was extraordinary. They knew that Christ was holy. They knew that there is no sin in him. They knew that Christ was always doing the right thing. But because of envy, how can this little boy, how can everybody follow this boy? One day, one day, this small girl will be dried up. One day, one day, this boy will become a king. So they have to kill him. Envy spirit will make to kill somebody so dear to you. Somebody who cares about you. Somebody who loves you so much. Somebody who never sleeps because of you. That envy spirit, the day it will wake up, it will tell you to kill that person. And before you know, you have killed the person. Matthew chapter 27, 17 to 18. Therefore, when they were gathered together, Pilate said unto them, Who will you that I release unto you? Barabbas, who is a thief, Barabbas, who is a murderer, Barabbas, who is a rogue, who is a drunkard, Barabbas, who is somebody that, that I have nothing to write to me about, or Jesus Christ, the holy man, Jesus Christ, the healer, Jesus Christ, who fed your wives, who fed your children, 
Jesus Christ who healed that man who was dying. Your eyes saw it. Your eyes saw everything he did. Now choose who will I release for you people. But envy will never choose right. Envy spirit will always lead you to do the wrong thing. Envy your spirit will never allow you to do a holy thing. Even though you pretend to do it, it will surely defile it. As, as an envy person, you will not go far. You can be holy in the morning. Before 11 o'clock, when you see something that somebody has, that spirit will wake up and defy you. So, today, you must do everything possible to cry out and say, Father, search me if I have it. Every spirit does not know bishop. Every spirit does not know apostle. He does not know what, no matter who you are, once you have it, he sends you to hell. He will pretend as if he's not there. But when he to wake up, comes, he will wake up. He says, for he knew, verse 18, for he knew that for envy they have de they have delivered him. For envy they want to kill this man. For envy they want to send this man to, the, to his early grave. Not that he have done anything to them. Not that he have erred. Not that he have done anything that is worthy of death. Christ is a pure and holy man. Now, that woman that you are angry with now. That man that whenever you think of that man, your heart will make boom. What has he done to you? Is it because he gave you testimony of what the husband did, did for him? Did for her one time? Is that not why you are angry? Is that not why you are you are that, that you just develop hatred for that person? What has that sister did to you? What had that brother did to you? If not for envy. An envy man will never get satisfied with what he has. Give an envy man 300 euro. It will, it will, it will say maybe you have 400 euro. So you must share it equally and equally. Every man is never satisfied of any position. Every man will never believe what you are saying. Mm, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm alone in the house with divine. God help me today. Amen. Please, Apostle, Apostle, please, let me raise a prayer for you. God bless you. God bless you. Let me, it's well. Amen. Praise the Lord. Unmute your mic and let us take this prayer for you. Every spirit of envy in my life. understood by anybody. The more they try to know you, the lesser they understand you in the, in the wrong way. Because you will never be straightforward. And every man is always unstable. He can never be stable in anything he's doing. 
you cannot praise it an heavy man. An heavy man can do anything to make anything. An heavy man wants to be happy in the detriment of other people. An heavy man always desires something for himself. An heavy man can hardly give. If every man gives you one euro, you must pay back with one million euro. Else, we kill you. An heavy spirit is a deadly spirit. A pretentious spirit. Sometimes it can be so calm. Calm but dangerous. Calm but deadly. It's a thing that you must not play with. And I've come to understand if you are if you are not careful as a Christian, every is found in every man. Every man is born with every spirit. Until you cast it away from you. Until you get rid of it. Take a look at children. We have children. Bring to children, give one something, see the eyes of the other one getting red. Mm -hmm. The eyes is getting red. Carry one. Hey, if you don't carry the other one, you are a problem. Even though the other one is a senior of the other one, because that spirit is there. So, when you not get born again, and you don't get rid of that spirit that you were born with, that spirit will get rid of you. Praise Master Jesus. The Bible told us in Acts chapter 7, verse 9. And the patriarchs moved with envy, sold Joseph into Egypt. But God was with him. The brothers of Joseph sold him. Just because of dream. Dream that have not even come to reality. They have not bought a car in their presence. Envy will kill you for what you have not done, for what they think you will do. Envy will make a man to kill you for your tomorrow. Hey, I believe this man will become prince tomorrow. I'll kill him now. That's what envy do. Envy will make, hey, my wife is so beautiful. Hmm. If anything happens to, happen to, happen to me tomorrow, hey, she might go and marry that person. Let me kill her now. The wife you will marry. And every spirit will make the thing that you will die tomorrow. And if you die tomorrow, another man will come and marry her. So let me kill her now. That is what envy do. Envy never loves itself. Envy is a spirit of self-hatred. Envy will make to hate, to, to hate yourself and hate everybody around you. Envy spirit does not care if you have duplets. You have duplex, let the person have just a bungalow. You prefer that bungalow to your duplex. Hmm. They envy him and sold him away. Brother James told us in James 3, verse 14. But if you have bitter, if you have bitter, envy and strife in your heart, glory not to. Glory not to because you go to hell. No matter how you walk, no matter how you do things. If that spirit of envy is in you, you know what to do. You know, you know what you do. It will, it will relax at the point of you being glorified. It will wake up. It will make you to get jealous of somebody. It will make you to get envious of somebody. And at that point, it will send you to hell. So that's why you must always ask the Lord Jesus, search me. Is that spirit of envy is still there? Cast away. Come out. Come out, come out, come out. <clears throat> envy is worse than when demon is visibly in, in someone's body. The demon that controls envy is a very strong demon because any pretentious demon is a strong demon. To pretend as if it's not there, but let something happen, it will wake up. That's why I always love prayer that I always pray. Anything that not manifested in me now. That will manifest on that day. Anything in my life that is sleeping now, I see it's not there. But the, that will manifest when I'm about to be glorified. Die now. Die now. Envy is one of them. You know why? When envy is in your life 
and things are roses with you. It will, it will act as if it's not there. But let somebody else come that is a little bit above above you. You will see. So that's why you see now in this Christian race now, in this um holiness race now, is it pastors fighting themselves? Not that they are know where to do. Not that God is not using them. But because if they don't want God to eat somebody else, envy spirit. Let me be the only one God is taking to heaven and coming back. I want to be the person that on the last day goes say, hey, Apostle Emmanuel, judge the whole world for me. And when they see somebody else doing it, because that envy spirit, they want to kill that person. That is envy. Envy spirit does not care to know if you are preaching. It does not care to know if you are going up and down preaching. The day it will disgrace you. It will disgrace you. So it's better you cast it out now. The Bible said there was war in heaven. Let there be war in your heart now. Let there be war between the Holy Spirit and that demonic spirit. As that spirit will take you to hell. This spirit has taken so great men of God into hell. They never knew that it's so dangerous until they get there. And the devil told them, do you know why you are here? No, we don't know. You are here because of envy spirit. You were envious. You were always envy. But, but I never said envy. You don't know. But it was there. So many of us on this mountain have it. How do you react whenever they are talking about somebody? It's either it's big in you or small. But no matter how little it is, it's leading you to somewhere hair fire. It can sometimes it wake up little by little. Your, some people own it wake up boom, uncontrollable. Why some people own it wake up little, little jealousy, jealousy, and for you know it it will be outrageous. No matter how little it is, the end point of it is take it to hell. And will make to murder. And will make it to, to, to get jealous of anybody. So therefore, get rid of it. And say, don't glory yet. Until you know that that spirit of envy is no more in you. Don't glory you. Be a Bible study preacher. Don't glory. Stretch your hand, everybody fall down. I mean, genuinely. And you have that spirit. Don't cast it away from you first. Satan was highly exalted in heaven. But the spirit of envy brought him down. The Bible told us in James 3, verse 16. For where envy and strife is, there is confusion and every evil works. Husband and wife that, that, that are, they are envy themselves, they can never cooperate. There's, there's a family where husband envy the wife. Hey, how can my wife become this? How can my husband become this? I want to be the one doing that business. How can it be that it's my husband that God is using? It should that be me. Hey, my wife can pray for three hours. Why can't I? There, 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 are, there are sometimes you say that because of you want to be. Not in every way, but I'm talking about the one that comes out of envy. You can want to be like somebody. Hey, this man is praying hard. I want to pray like this man. That one is not what I'm talking about now. The one that comes out with, with, with anger, with jealousy. I want to be like this sister. Ah, this sister, ah, uh, he just came to the mountain two days ago. Ah, uh, they are calling his name now, her name now. Hey, I must make sure I bring her down. Hey, this spirit. Hey, this brother that just came yesterday, they just make him apostle. I'll be here for long. Why do they call me apostle? It's not a man that make him apostle. It's God that make him apostle. So, because of envy, you remember that you have been on the mountain for so long. You don't know where God is ready to, to, to I mean, you don't know where God is waiting to elevate you. At the point that you are about to be elevated, he will tell you, you are supposed to be in the shoe of that person. By so doing, 
it will bring you down. For where every aspect is, there is confusion. Any church, no matter how the church is, if they allow the spirit of envy to dwell there, there will always be a downfall, a confusion. According to James 3, verse 16. Philippians 1, verse 5. Some indeed preach Christ, evil of envy and strife. Some indeed preach Christ, evil of envy. Who, they, who are they preaching? They are preaching Christ of envy. They are doing everything to make sure they put all that down so that they are the one everybody are following. They forgot their Bible says we have different offices just the way my brother preached this morning. No, they are all the office. They believe they are everything. So they preach Christ even in envy and strife. But some in good will. Now, what, who are you? What kind of life are you living? Are you not living with envy in your life? If you are, just as Michael fought demon, Satan and cast him out, you better fight that spirit now. Envy spirit is a spirit that you just say, hey, I, I God, I take it away. No. You fight with it. Because it's a very stubborn, very, very stubborn. It will pretend as if it's not there. Hey, you are a holy man, very gentle and holy, but he is there with you. You can be generous, yet you are envious. You can be very high in any position, yet you are envious. Satan has done it to humanity. He made sure he planted in every human being. If you don't know, it will take you to hell. And all the works you have done will be useless. That will not be our portion in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. The Bible says, let us work honestly as in the day, not in rioting and drunkenness, not in chambering and watering, not in strife and in envy. Romans 13, verse 13. Let us work Honestly, let us be honest to each other. Let us be open to each other. And every man, it will try, it will try to open, but it cannot be open. It will try to feel as we are one, but it's a lie. And every man can never be one with you. He can only pretend. And every woman can never be your friend. It will only pretentiously come to you to get things out of you. Once he gets that thing, he or she will bring you down. Amen. Amen. And the Lord has destroyed it now in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Romans 13, verse 13. Now, Galatians 5, 26. Let us not be desirous of vain glory, provoking one another, envy one another. That is what is happening today in the church. Let us not be desirous of vain glory. Many holiness preachers, women, men are out for their own glory. The Lord is saying, let us not go there. Glory belongs to God alone. Let us not provoke each other into, into, into envy because of you want your self-exaltation. You want to be exalted. You want to be praised. You want people to you want to become a god over other people. And whenever you you, you hear that somebody else is doing the same thing, ah yeah. Who is that person when the Lord says, "I am the one who do it"? How can Apostle Apostle Matthew come here and preach the way I'm preaching? How can this one do this? I am supposed to preach that way. How can this one preach and people, are, people are say, hey, this was a wonderful preaching? He or she might not speak that, but there's anger in the spirit. The Lord is saying, fight it, else it will take you to hell. The end point of that spirit in you, it will take you to hell. And when, when it gets you to hell, 
Did you go away from you? And tell the demons, I brought him or her finally. You will not get there in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Say, Proverbs 24, verse 1. Be not thou envious against evil man, neither desire to be with them. Envy does not know is evil. Once you have evil, <coughs> evil envy with you, both evil men, good men, you envy them. You even envy witchcraft. You want to be like witchcraft. When we do, do something, you forget that this person is a witch. You want to be like him. You are a holy person. When a righteous man buy a car, you forget that yesterday you were righteous. You want to be like that man now. That is what envy do. Envy makes you fluctuate. You go up and down. Today you are born again. Tomorrow you are falling. Then tomorrow you are righteous. That is what it does. Be not envious against unholy person. But every man does not know this. If a drug pusher build a house and every pastor, holy pastor wants to build a house. Drug pusher. These are supposed to say, hey, how can this man do this? Hey, you be envy. I want to build that same house. Hey, look at that shoe that that brother wear. A holy pastor will be saying, look at that shoe uh, that a unholy person wear. That is a shame. But that is what envy does. And I pray the Lord will deliver everyone today in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Say, so don't desire their delicacy. Don't desire what they have. But envy will not allow you. He must desire it. Envy must desire that thing. Hey, that shoe, that cloth, envy will make those sleep with the other man's husband in your, wife, your, your heart. Hey, that man, say, see the wife. Ah, yeah. You will sleep with other man's wife in your heart. Because of envy. How can that poor man, that man is using bicycle in Europe, how can that poor man have such a wife? Hey, ah, how can that poor man is the one they are hearing? Of? Hey, so you know it. You'll be killing that person, slaughtering that person in your mind. I pray God will deliver his children today in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. There is one power that, fought, that can fight envy and destroy envy the power of genuine love. Jesus Christ never had envy in his heart because he came out genuinely. He loved us genuinely. Don't say, For God so loved the world. And he gave his only because son, and that, that only son had the mind of his father, the heart of a genuine love. First Corinthians 30, verse 4. I'm closing now. Our two pictures are here now. First Corinthians 30, verse 4. Charity suffer long and is kind. Charity envier not. Love suffer long. Love is kind. Love so far long. Love and yet not. Praise Master Jesus. Love make it not itself. It's not puffed up. Every man can be gentle, but is proud. Gentleness doesn't mean somebody is not proud. You can be proud but gentle. You can be envy but generous. To be envy, but pretentiously think as if you are, old, you are holy. But until that day, all eyes will see who you are. You can pretend now. Hey, this is a very wonderful woman. This is a very wonderful man. Everybody want to be like you. But very soon, the whole world will know you are. Many pastors, they are members that went to hell before them. The, the, the pastor, goes, hey, pastor, you're still here. Hey, I am here. What are you doing here, pastor? I'm doing what you are doing also. Children of God, let us set ourselves now. I have been setting myself since morning. Say, Father, this is a battle. Fire this battle. And this spirit is a spirit that you must kick out. Use blow as you are praying. Pray with blow. So that both physical and spiritual, the power of God will cast that away from you. Because 
is dangerous. All murder starts with envy. All hatred starts with envy. Stephen's brother's wife starts with envy. Envy is the mother and father to many, many sins. I'm closing with this one now. Philippians 2 verse 3. Let nothing be done through strife. Okay, I'm ready for a great glory. But in loneliness of mind, let us. In loneliness of mind, let us esteem others better than we are. This is the key. This is the key. Learn to value other better than yourself. Let us esteem other better than yourself. Jesus Christ, he carried water and washed the legs of the apostles. He wanted them to be beautiful. He wanted them to be as he is. As he want to go, say, better work shall you do than I did. But an envy man will never tell you better work you will do. Hey, if you even do to my accent, I will kill you. I told the story how a pastor killed a young pastor coming up. I said several times, envy did that. This pastor had a very big church. He had a chase of cars everywhere. Rather, chase of cars everywhere. But just because of little pigeons, Little pigeons that somebody gave to this boy, he killed him, stabbed him to death. Because he think maybe tomorrow they might give him jet. Sister, don't you have that sort of? Do you know how that sort of uh, envy your heart? <coughs> do something about it now. That envy spirit has taken so many things from you. The blessing that will come away. That envy has gone ahead. Said, 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 Lord, don't do it. Envy spirits draw away blessing from a man. Whenever the, your blessing is about to come, if you cause to envy somebody, from then your own will go away. So, I'll be searching my house this morning. I'll be asking God for, to help me. It is hiding and I don't know it. Come out! And fly away. Mm-hmm. If you are hiding in me, I'm thinking I'm holy or righteous. Thinking when rapture takes place now, I'll fly away. But envy is hiding. When trouble is up, you can say, Hey, are you apostle? Yes, I have been there. You better say you're going to wear enjoy articles. Hey, that will not be my portion. So, yeah. I want to omit your mic now. I say, Father, search me truly. Search me thoroughly. Check if that spirit of envy is in me. You know. You know who you are. Whenever they are praying somebody, your mind is, your, you know, see, when they are, that is, that, is, that is waking up, whenever they are talking about somebody's good, that is waking up, is envy. Say, oh Lord, come and help me fight this virus. It is a virus, little or small. It is a virus. Say, oh Lord Jesus, arise, arise. Help me to fight this spirit of envy. Open my pray. Pray, pray, pray. Father, arise and fight this virus for me. Fight this virus for me. Fight this virus for me. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hey, hey, this virus. This virus, help to fight it. Fight it. I need freedom.